a couple quick announcements before this video starts. One, I look amazing in a robe. And two, the posting will be on hold for a little while. Like, this will be the last video that goes up this week. Because my friend and I, we are on a break, spring break, basically. So we're going on vacation to spend time with families and all. So this will be the last video of this week. Or so I assume. It should be. Anyway, let's get on to the video. So you may have noticed in a couple of my past videos, I have gotten a pin to take place of this, the Fisher Space Bullet Pin. It was some pin with a stylus and a flashlight, but today I actually have the bullet pin on me. It's lovely. And let's just get into it. This is like the best pin ever. First, it's super small. It's the diagonal of my palm. That's how big it is. But when you open it, it extends to the length of a regular pin. So that's pretty cool. It takes up very little space in your backpack, which this will be used at EDC videos. And then it extends to a full pin, so you get the full writing experience. Now, the next best thing about this pen is it's pressurized ink. So that basically means you can write anytime, anywhere, even on your hand. That's pretty good if you're a hand writer, like you write on your hand a lot. Because I write on my hand a lot, and a lot of pens that I use, they just don't work. Another good thing about this pen, like I said, is pressurized ink, so you can even write upside down. I mean, I don't know if that's anything special, but that's what they advertised. Another great thing about this pen is you can write in water. Well, let's go take a look at that. So this might be hard for you guys to see, but this is wet. If you can see, it's a little clearer right here. That means it's wet. It's really soggy, actually. So I will give you a demonstration. I just wrote in water. Amazing. Okay, so this is kind of a really short video, but here are my final thoughts on this pen. It's amazing. It's small. It's metal. And then it extends. It's actually got a really nice grip. I would totally recommend this to you guys. The only downside is it's like 30, 40 bucks. No, not 40 bucks. Sorry. The expensive ones are 30, 40 bucks. This was like $16. But for a pen, that's quite a lot. But it's pressurized ink, so I guess it's a little more expensive. It's $4 a refill. It says it on the cap if you unscrew it. It says send $4 for a refill. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get refills at Staples and all, but, like, who does that? You gotta, you gotta mail them. Say you're a fan. Anyways, I'm sorry for the short video. There will be longer ones soon. There will be nice long ones as well. We got some good things coming up. But that's it for today, guys. Subscribe. Subscribe. Oh, that's upside down. Alright, that's it for today, guys. Peace!